Oh, Jesus! What? Zombies, would you shut up out there? I am trying to begin episode two of the Mad Pack. Uh, hey guys, Antvenom here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we are going to be doing episode two of the Mad Pack modded survival. And I've done a decent amount of studying between the last episode and this episode, whereas I hadn't done any uh, in the first episode. You know, I just kind of winged it, and uh, I did that intentionally because I wanted you guys to tell me what the most important mods are that I should be studying. And there are two mods very specifically, at least in the very beginning, you guys suggested that I should look around for and that was the uh, dart craft mod and the uh, Tinker's construct mod and then I believe also there was one other mod as well um, But I looked around a little bit and it wasn't as important yet But anyways, uh, we're gonna be putting a pretty heavy focus on both of those mods here today or at least um, We're gonna be trying to look around the earth for you know uh, Elements that are gonna be gonna, that are gonna help us uh, throughout dart craft and uh, we're immediately gonna get started on stuff with Tinker's construct uh, So yeah I think it's just about time that we launch right into it here. So Tinker's Construct is uh, the thing, as you guys probably saw over here, there's all these patterns and stuff, and I just did not really know how to mess with them. This is the part builder. Again, I didn't really know how to mess with things, and this is the tool station where I just really didn't know how to, you know, I just, I had no idea what was going on here, but uh, now I think I have a pretty decent idea as to what is going on here. So, yeah. Basically, with the Tinker's Construct, I'm not going to get too much into it, but basically you create blank pattern pages that go into here, and then you can create, like, the these things that are right in here, uh, they're basically just like templates, you know, um, you know, there's only a set amount of them and you don't need to make multiple. And then you take those and you put them into this part builder here with an actual part and it'll create you that part. And then you put all those parts together and you can craft yourself something really nifty. So, uh, let me go ahead and let me see what I got going on here. Um, okay. So it looks like I already have some pre-made parts here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see here. Ooh, I heard the slime thing like might actually be really nifty. So there's that. Um, I don't know if I have have like an actual blade or anything like that um it doesn't look like i do have a blade i don't know i think the pan makes like a shield or something i'm really not sure uh i do also need a binding but that's a paper binding that's not really that good so it doesn't look like i got everything that i needed for this so i think we're gonna have to do actually a little bit more exploring really before i go uh do actually no i have iron ore right here what am i doing okay so let's go ahead and let's uh let's toss a couple pieces of coal in there and uh we'll go ahead and we'll create ourselves a uh, an iron pickaxe using this mod that will allow us to uh you know do some things because you're also able to modify everything and there are certain modifiers that you can apply to everything uh in order to like you know give your weapon like a you know different abilities and whatnot and i'm not exactly sure of all of the abilities but i know like you can toss in like a gold block and that will give you a gold block and a diamond will give you an extra you know thing that you can do uh an extra effect or something uh, but yeah anyway so you can see like you know, with these uh, pickaxe, you know, it tells you what it requires, and it even changes up the little crafting thing in the middle here for it. And there's still that noise outside. Another thing I wanted to note as well is I turned back on the Infernal Mobs mod, because I was getting a lot of you saying that I probably should do that. Even though it is going to make things very hard, I do want to feel like, at least from the very beginning, I was, you know, you know, at least making a very serious effort to do, to do everything here. And I don't know why I didn't think about changing it to daytime there. Thank God we got those guards around the town. I really hope that they never die, because they're... Oh God, whoa, that was really... Really quick and another thing I noticed as well is that uh, the reason when I uh, was mining with my pickaxe and it immediately disappeared is because I was holding shift I, I held shift and I did that so good to know um, if I ever really want to mine up like a real full area but anyways let's go ahead and let's check out this area right here I do have the parts thing going on in here so what I need to make is I need to make one of these and then I think if I toss an iron and get in there oh god I'm not see I'm not hundred percent sure here Oh my god, I am, I am, I'm failing again, aren't I? Oh, uh, th I think there's like one other thing that I need to include as well. Maybe a tool binding pattern. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, nope. Okay, maybe, maybe I haven't quite learned it quite as much as I thought yet. Oh my god, I, I, I feel so terrible, uh, for not having done that correctly. Um, crossbar, I do want to create, you know, again, a pickaxe. So again, I always thought, yeah, material cost is one. So I always thought it was the ingot that I needed to do for that. But apparently it is not. Let's try the gold here. Nope, gold isn't it. Hmm, that's actually kind of weird. I, that's exactly... Oh, okay, well, I can create a stone pickaxe handle. Maybe I need to have already made a uh, an iron pickaxe or something like that in order to be able to do it. But anyways, let's go and let's do that. Let's go and let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go and let's take that. Let's, oh, God, I hear, I hear bad noises out there. Sword blade pattern. Let's go and let's do this. I am really... Oh, God, I actually... I accidentally made two. Okay, are there, like, bad monsters in this village or something like that? I don't know, but I hear the noises, and I'm really, like... I'm just like, eh, what's going on out there? 
Okay, but anyways, another thing I think I need to craft as well is, oh god, what is it here? Um, let's see, I need to craft a, uh, not a chisel, um, it's not a sword pattern, it's a tool pattern, there we go, that's what I need to do. And the material cost is 0.5, see again, I thought, I thought iron ingot was what you needed for that, but I, again, I was wrong. Um, yeah, see, so there you go, you get a stone tool rod. A stone shard, and then you can use the stone shard to craft another one, so that's good. And then from there, uh, let's see here. So if I go into this table right here, let's say I want to create myself a sword. Now what I want to do is I want to take that little piece, the stone tool rod, at w which I just made, take the blade, and then, oh, I need to make a hilt with that. Uh, and I think I actually have one, the hilt that I wanted to use, uh, which was that one slime one. Uh, yeah, the slime wade guard, or hilt, whatever, whatever it is you want to call it. Anyways, uh, I could create a long sword as well, um, but I think I need... Okay, I need a different, like, handle for that. But this is what I'm going to make. I'm going to create that. I'm going to create... It looks like that's already in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create that. And that will give me a broadsword, stone bound. Uh, and then you can see it has, like, modifiers thing going on. So, I have, boom, I have that. And uh, let's see. It doesn't actually say specifically what its damage value is, but I would assume it's right around a stone sword. And then from there, I believe, what is it that I can toss it into? I, oh, God. It's a certain thing that I can craft. Um, oh, God. Why did I toss that out of my inventory? Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let me actually look it up here. Let's see. Uh, I think what I do is I would toss it in like right here and then I could go ahead and I could toss things in here and they would give it certain attributes though I'm not sure which ones actually do it uh, This one nope that doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can see lapis and then there, there's lapis on the list There's other things that are on the list uh, But I personally just don't know what that what those things are so I'm not even gonna try and do that right now But anyways now that I've at least shown you guys that uh, what I'm gonna do from this point on is I'm gonna take the rest of the wood I am going to craft myself another chest, and we're going to start storing some more items, at least temporarily. Uh, one thing I am planning to make is a backpack that's included with this mod. Uh, so let's go ahead. Again, let's just deposit everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get this part back in the part chest. Uh, again, this is all Tinker's Construct right here, and then now we're going to be doing stuff for the Dart Craft mod, which has nothing to do with darts, funny enough. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's deposit all of this. Let's do electrical steel. Uh, actually, I could, I probably should hang on to these ingots and actually use them for, I don't know, maybe a proper sword or things like that. Okay, so there we go. That's good. That's good. So we're going to keep it, you know, pretty, pretty casual for that setup right now. Um, okay, let's see. And then there's like a sign I guess I could create. Uh, I mentioned that in the previous episode that I still don't know what it is. Yay. Um, let's see. What should I make? I could do a hat. I could do that. Um, let's see. I could... Yeah, I could do a hat. I think a hat's all I can do because seven is for legs and eight is for a uh, breastplate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a hat for the time being. And uh, okay, so there's even more things going on here that I don't fully understand. But yeah, I can make a backpack and I'm guessing I can just, you know, put it in that slot. So that's good. So anyways, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hang on to everything that I got right now. I'm really, really fearing death, but I do have my, you know, the ability to sleep at night. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put half of that food away here. Uh, so I'm pretty much, you know, set to not really die. Um, oh, I do have a, an ingot, so I could hire one of the one of those guards for like an hour or something like that. Uh, so that's good. There's also gold that can be used in other areas. So let's go. Let's, let's go ahead and let's chat with this guy here. See again, this is where all the mods are starting to like come together here. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can hire this guy. Uh, so I have one gold ingot. I can hire him. I think it's just for an in-game hour though. I'm not really sure about that about this. So let's go ahead and let's hire him. Okay, so this is enough. He'll do work for me. So again, I think it's only an in-game hour, which is problematic. Uh, I wish I could slow down in-game time, but what I'm going to try and do, see if I can, yep, here it is. Okay, so I was going to find this area right here, and uh, let's see here. So let's go ahead and let's tear this apart here. Let's get down here. Oh god, okay, that was a little bit scarier than I thought. And uh, another thing that I'm looking for is a specific type of ore. Oh god, is the guy following me or what? I don't even know. But I'm looking for a very specific type of ore. Let's go and let's use this as our little mine right here. So, oh god, get out of my way. Don't, don't do that. Okay, seriously, guy? But I'm looking for a very specific type of ore, and I'm not sure if I can mine it with this pickaxe, but I'm looking for one that has very bright yellow uh, spots on it. And uh, that's what's called the Force Gem. I am about to come down here without any torches. That's going to be problematic. But yeah, I'm looking to craft something called the Force Gem. And uh, then there's also the clipboard that I want to craft. Oh, this is, um, what is this right here? This is copper ore for industrial craft. I suppose I'll snag that. Uh, uh, although I'm guessing because copper is this far down, it's not exactly that hard to find. Um, I don't want to use up my durability on this pickaxe either in order to, you know, do the shift mining thing. But again, it is good to know that that happens. 
But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and let's just snag this here. Again, it's not that hard to find, I'm suspecting. So, we're, we're aiming to go, you know, fair ways into the earth here. <clears throat> if only, like, shift-clicking would, like, just mine in a straight line and just create the staircase for me. That would be awesome. But, yeah, anyways, we do have to deal with the hand that we are being dealt here for the time being. And I'm going to be doing more research into those other mods as well. Uh, you know, the two mods that I just mentioned. Because I do want to make sure that I pretty much master those mods. Okay, again, see more copper ore going down here, so that's just me suspecting that it's not going to be that hard to find. So I'm not, you know, mining all the things or anything. I hired that guy for an hour and he's not following me. Oh god. Okay, see, this is why I'm scared of this of this whole mod pack, because crap like this. Like, there is some kind of something going on in there. And I might run right into it. Yeah, like I, like look, before I even find a natural cave system, what do I find? Probably some super mega behemoth thing going on here. Okay, so I really, really need to be careful because I don't know what's going on in here. Um, okay, let's go and let's do a little bit of this. Okay. All right, let's go and let's mine that up again. You know, making sure not to hold shift. Alrighty then. Okay. Okay. Bad things can really happen in these areas. Like, I really do have to be as careful as I'm, as I'm showing myself to be. Like, I have to look around every corner. And bats are actually really useful to kill now, so I'm going to have to be sure to do that. Okay. Oh, God. Uh... I hear- okay, whoo, whoo, alright, you need- you need to die, okay, you're- you're a zombie, but you have slightly increased health. And you drop something, okay, what is the special thing that you dropped? You shard- a draw a shard of minium. Okay, there's another zom- oh god, their follow distance is so big. Okay, um, that scares me just a little bit. Okay, well, I can deal with regular mobs. Ooh, and I got myself a little magic thing and a zombie head. What- what if I wear- oh, uh, I- if only I had made myself, um- you know boots instead if only I had done that So anyways, okay, there's a spawner off in that direction. There's nothing off in this direction. Let's check this out Okay, let's go and let's kill that bat. Yay that drop that bat dropped claws Which is gonna allow me to create some really interesting things um, I'm not sure exactly. Let's see. What are the the recipe? There's recipes that can be used for this if I go ahead and I hit you uh, It shows that I can oh I can create flint if I have minium stone, which I'm guessing minium stone is probably crafted Okay, minium stone minium stone if I go ahead and I hit, oh, not O, but, uh, R. Okay, minium shards with an inert stone. You get inert stone with vanilla materials. Okay, the circle is complete. It's led me back to square one. But yeah, anyways, you can see, like, this is not going to be an easy thing to tackle. Like, I just, I have to be careful around every corner. Okay, uh, oh my god. Okay, see, this opens up even a little bit more. Okay, let's check this out. Check this out. I don't know, I'm actually supposed to be looking for natural materials. So this probably isn't the best idea for me. Let's go ahead and let's head back and let's start digging a little bit more. But it is good that I found this area, at the very least. So, that's good. Um, wait, where was the area that I just dug up from? Oh, okay, it's right here. That's good. Uh, let's go and let's mark that, just kind of like this. Uh, just, I like marking things so that I remember them easier, though. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, Jesus! Gee! <sighs> of all the things to scare me like that... Okay, he's a little bit annoyed. Uh, can I... I w there should be a sorry in here. You know... That, that's that's a nice firm grip you've got there. Hey, can I can I do that again to make you feel better? Okay, why isn't everyone the civil? Oh, well, he's annoyed, but let's shake his hand a couple more times. What is that on your hands? Oh uh, no! Oh god! Now you now you're now you're just mad at me. Okay, your trade is serious again. Hey, it's a zombie. Okay, do your thing. Do your thing. Yay! Yay! Okay, well he's he's gonna manage this crap for me, and here comes another zombie. Hey, zombie! What's up? I can, I can, I can manage you. Yeah, yeah, get, get wrecked, get stomped on. Okay, so that's more of that, uh, minium shard. So, though, it seems like those are gonna be a little bit useful as well. Can you really not jump that thing? I was gonna say, like, okay, are you serious that you can't jump up that? That would be really, really embarrassing. Okay, well, I found you here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start digging off this, like, here. Because, uh, this, feel, you know, feels like it's gonna be the best solution. I wish I could find a natural cave instead. And now I'm hearing those really bad noises. Again, I really do want to find some force shards so that... See, I don't know how uncommon or common force shards are. That's another thing that I'm not really sure of with this mod. And yes, I know my stone pick is about to run out. I'm gonna def... Oh god! Okay. Whew. Wasn't expecting that in the walls like that. But, okay, I got a heart from that, so that's okay. Alright, uh, is that guy down here? Uh, where'd he go? Did my guard abandon... Wow, the guard abandoned me. He, he's gone. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna block this off right here. So that I don't have to worry about things massacring me from that direction. But, you know what, I'll leave a little bit. Actually, yeah. 
Well, I probably should leave a window open or something like that. And this is totally a great use of this pickaxe right now. But, uh, yeah. So I still need, I still do need to find, you know, like, useful materials. Do I have enough sticks? No. Okay, I don't. Um, so yeah, I do need to go and grab some more wood. There's also, ooh, okay, there's water here. Okay. Oh god, I'm hearing, I'm hearing those noises again. There's just randomly water here. Okay. Uh, that makes really a lot of sense. Like, so, so much sense. Minecraft, you are so good at making sense. Alright, okay. Uh, is there a, there's another one right there? Okay. Is this just like a weird little water thing, pool thingy that, oh my god, it is. It's like some weird little water pool thingy. <sighs> and last use of the pick. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's cra let's head back up and let's craft ourselves a bunch of stone tools. Uh, again, I know that I probably could be crafting better tools, but I'm, again, I'm not fully aware of every single mod yet. There's so many mods that I have to, st oh god, okay, there, there's people sleeping outside. I feel really bad for them. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh god. Okay. There's zombies and stuff everywhere. Uh, I, I, I could shear you if I had, uh, I could shear that cow with one of the mods. Uh, actually it is one of the primary mods that I, that I look to use. Ooh, there's this. this is the grafter for, oh wait, no, I think I've seen all this before. Uh, and I wasn't, you know, aware of how any of this worked, so I haven't gone after it yet. But okay, this is my house right here, so that's good. Okay, great. Oh, Jesus! What? Are you, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. It has been so long since I've had that happen. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Okay. If this is how you're gonna be. Okay. Hang on. Let's get a torch going on in here. How am I gonna even gonna get out of my house? Okay, hang on. I wasn't Really? Really? That just happened? Okay, I'm so mining this up with my bare hands. I don't even care. Like that just happened. Like that just just happened. Just out of nowhere. Oh god, it's a they spawn out of nowhere! What? What is that? What? My house is no longer safe. What is this? Why did they just spawn like that? In the middle of my house. Are you kidding me? Do they just spawn in the nighttime wherever they please? They're not supposed to spawn right next to you. I didn't know about that. Okay. Oh god. And that's like probably like a deadly slime of some sort. Alright, we gotta rebuild our house here. I'm losing stuff left and right. Okay, do I do I even have a chest on me to store any of my crap? I, I can't trust this game right now if that's gonna happen. Like, why does that happen? Do I even still have my bed on me? No, I think he exploded my bed. Thank you, Creeper, for doing that. Thank you for making me fear for my life for this game. Why does that happen? Okay. Oh, God, okay. My printer just started making noise there, too. Printer, you're not helping this situation right now. Okay, well, I think the mo the least valuable things right now are the these things. So let's go ahead and let's get those out of my inventory. I really need to get the bed going on here again. Okay, let's go ahead and let's stack that up. Let's get that going away. Okay, I need to just create like a fortress. Like all away from this area. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, let's see here. Do I have a door? Finally. Okay, starting to make sense here of this evilness. Okay, note to self, never return home when it's nighttime. <laughs> if you're outside, just let, just let what's going to happen happen. All right, so, okay, bro. All right, man. All right, okay. I have the stone pickaxe handle. I have the binding, and do I have any of the sticks? But I don't even have any of the things right now to manage any... What is going on with my life? All right. I will find some kind of... Some kind of meaning to all of this. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm just trying to figure out things that I need. Okay, uh, I know that wood is going to be absolutely necessary right now. Let's go and let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of that torch. Okay, like, bro. Okay, if one of you guys in the comments can tell me what is causing that to happen. Oh, God, I... That's a part of the... F oh, God, those Endermans are part of one of the mods that I uh, believe it's part of Darkcraft. 
Okay, so time to get plenty of wood and really, like, try and create some kind of stronghold or something. Maybe it's, it was a lighting level issue, like, maybe with one of the survival mod modifications that I have going on, like... Okay, okay. Okay, get out of my face, man. Alright, I think with one of the uh, survival modifications I have going on, the mods can spawn anywhere. Uh, and it may have just been just low enough light level to have that thing spawn, but even then... That just doesn't see- oh, okay. That- that's what you are. Alright, and you drop something. Okay, so now I have wood. Let's go ahead and let's try and get our bearing set here again. At the very least, let's try and get, you know, things crafted. So, do I have another craft- do I have a craft- no, the crafting bench is what I'm in. So let's go ahead and let's create some sticks. Okay, I still have cobblestone, so let's go ahead and let's create a pickaxe here. Okay, so- get- oh, what? I'm cl okay, I'm clicking on you, seriously, and it's not working. Uh, probably because I can't do that that way. Okay, let's go and let's try this again. Oh my god, Minecraft. Okay, and now what I need to do is I need to craft a chest again. So let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of that. Oh god, what, what, what? Okay, I just got an oak barricade apparently. Let's go and let's craft a chest here. We need to get our bearing set. So I need to create some kind of like pre-room, I think, with glass on top. So that I can always see into the area I'm about to go into, but it'll have a tall ceiling, so if a creeper blows up in the lower level, nothing happens. So, like, I don't lose anything that way. I feel like that's what I need to do. Okay, let's go and let's just deposit everything before I hit my five minute limit here. And everything that's on the ground disappears. So let's go and let's do that. Um, let's go and let's grab some of this crap right here. I swear to god if another creeper just gets me. Like, I, I won't even know what to do. Like, I'm picking up wood that was a part of the house just recently. Wow, okay, so such recovery. Okay, let's see here. So, oak wood, okay, bam. Let's go ahead and let's craft ourselves our second chest, okay? So, we got a double chest going on here. That ain't bad. I still got my food, and I didn't die. So, I'm still deathless to this, uh, this mod so far, but my house is another story altogether. Okay, let's go and let's fill in some of these gaps here, because I'm so scared of, like, a creeper just spawning in here. No, I don't even understand this game. The mechanics that I thought once were are no longer. That wow, I I I I have I have no trust for this anymore. Okay, so there we go. That's our mine shaft as we kind of had it before. Uh, I need to place my chest in like again their own individual e or maybe even just their own individual room or something like that. That would that would just be nice. You know, that would just be a good touch. Okay, let's see. In that chest, no. Okay, I need to get the whole patterns in there too. Okay, I just need to get everything in here. So I need to really reorganize myself here. So let's go ahead and let's snag my sword. Let's snag my pick. Okay, let's snag my shovel if I still have it. Which it doesn't look like I... Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, let's snag my iron ingots. Let's snag my food because food is good. Food is healthy. Okay. Alright. Uh, potato. That. Let's get that back in there. Okay. So I think we're alright. We survived that one little blast, but note to self, never, ever, ever let it become nighttime. Uh, even with co okay, so let's take some of this coal here. Uh, no, okay, let's go and let's take some of these sticks. I see you, Enderman, out there. Oh god, that's one of those boss Endermen. Yeah, see, I, I, I've proven to you guys now that that mod, the, uh... That mod is enabled. The Infernal Mobs mod. Okay. Was that like a creeper out there? I don't even know. I, I don't even have windows properly anymore. Okay, so... Let's let's really be sure this place is torched up. Let's be sure the above area is torched up too. I don't even have a proper roof anymore. I didn't even really pay attention to that. They're really trying to kill- they're killing that Enderman. Okay. Oh god, and... Yep. Yep, okay. Uh, how are all of the guards in this town not dead yet? They're like a temporary shield for me. Okay, let's, can I can I leave the house? Oh god, no! I probably shouldn't be leaving the house. I don't I don't really know what that is. Okay, oh it's just a clink, I guess. Oh god, you have like a pretty major sword, but okay, I killed you. I killed you. A throwing scythe. Okay, so that's the Lycanite uh, desert mobs. So yeah, the desert mobs are starting to enter this area here a little bit. Wow, okay, that was nuts. We are already, we're 25 minutes into this episode and we haven't made a ton of progress yet. So let's go ahead and let's start making some progress here. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to further improve the situation with mobs. So I want mobs to be able to see me if they come down in here. And I want there to be, let's see, 
Okay, so where was my path being dug down at? Oh, my path wasn't even being dug down in this house. Or was it? Wait a minute, I'm really confused now. No, I didn't even have a path being dug down in this house. Um, okay, actually, then I should just be covering this up. Okay, so let's go and let's just do that. So let's cover this room up. And uh, maybe I can make like... Did a nuke just go off out there? What is this game? <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. This game is literally hilarious right now. Alright, yeah, again, filling this in. Okay. Like, it seems like everyone is just running with their heads cut off out there. Okay, what, I, what I'd like to do is maybe create a way... For me to get into this house from like above to always be able to see into the house from above So in case there's a creeper there, I can at least like maybe do something about it. That <clears throat> that would be nice <clears throat> Or maybe what I should do is just always be sure to look into my house before I walk into it Maybe that's an option like let's let's just do that Okay, so let's go ahead and le again Let's create a bunch of stone picks so that we can at least create you know make some progress going you know make some progress here Okay, so let's go and let's do a little bit of that. I got, got one one new pickaxe. Okay, another new pickaxe. So now I got myself three of these pickaxes here. Okay, let's go and let's, uh, let's see. Do I need any more? Well, I could use some more wood here. Uh, let's go and let's take this wood with me so that I can, you know, do things with it if I need. Um, let's see. Should I take the crafting bench with me? I don't think I really need to. Wooden pick. Yeah, I'm going to figure out what I'm doing later on. But at least now I have, you know, some stone stuff. Uh, I probably do want to create another another uh, sword, to be honest, just in case, because you never know. Okay, so can I leave my house safely now? Is this an option? Okay, I think it is. Hiring that guard was completely useless. All right, let's go and let's get some proper food into my inventory here. And let's go and let's try this again. Okay, except this time with maybe less death and destruction. <laughs> Good day to you, majestical cow vaporizer. I'm I'm gonna continuously forget that I named myself that. So there's that. Good day to you, the majestical cow vaporizer. Good day to you, Oliver the Librarian, with the most boring name that I've seen in this mod pack yet. Trent the Smith. Okay, that's that's uh, maybe a little bit more generic. All right, so there's that. Um, I know that I probably could be using some kind of vaporizer tool to vaporize that whole tree, but uh, again, that's not something I've figured out yet. So let's go ahead and let's use our, you know, our, okay, so this area down here, this is the area that I want to use. So let's go ahead and let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and let's suck up some of this right here. Just so that I can create this. So let's go and let's do that. Oh god, that was actually the gravel. I didn't think I used the gravel. I didn't really mean to. Okay, so then there's that. Okay, so that's good enough. So then there's a villager down here. Oh, villager, what are you trading? Oh, you're trading 20 emeralds for a notebook. I don't know what a notebook is for, but okay. Uh, you're like an angry villager, so I'm guessing you want to... Yeah, you look like you're doing a really bad trade. And you're going to trade a princess and an emerald for a, a monostatic... Uh, a monastic... Uh, d drone. Okay, I don't even... I don't even know. It's so late at night that I'm not even pronouncing things correctly. Haven't seen you around here before. Well, gee, maybe that's because, like, your entire town is, like, deadly. Okay, so there's that. Alright, so again, I'm looking for some, like, iron. Just, just some iron would be nice. Like, the simple things, man. Like, okay, this coal is even useful to me right now. Like, I want to get the vanilla material so I can at least get into the other mods. Like, seriously, we're 29 minutes into this episode. Uh, at least according to my recording. I may have actually started my recording and then left, like, a big blank spot in the middle. So we may be, like, 25 minutes. I don't know. But, uh, hey. I just want to get the vanilla materials first so that then I can move on to the mods because I understand the mods now. I just need to find some of these uh, force shard, uh, you know, like force gems or yeah, force shards. It, well, the uh, you mine them up and you get shards, but I need to find the uh, force blocks, uh, the ones with the big shiny yellow bits to them. Okay. Hi. Hi. You are not on my list of usefulness right now. Okay. So nothing going on in here. Okay. Let's go and let's mine down a little bit further. Uh, I think if I go down too far, though, bad things will likely happen. Okay, let's see. If I were to die right now, I would be be able to respawn in my bed and, you know, get some things. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there's there's sand this far down. Okay. Uh, this, this could be useful, but this could also be something very deadly. But sand is actually going to be really... Oh, God. Okay, there's bad things going on in that cave. Oh, God. And I shift-clicked that one. Whoops. Whoops. All right, well, I found iron. Okay. But I shift-clicked that one on accident. 
I really didn't mean to. But hey, I uncovered iron. So wait a minute, does it only, does it only mine up, yeah, it only mines up the one block that you're kind of on, and it uses all the durability required for that. Oh, that's so cool. That is way too cool. There's spawners and stuff down there, death and destruction, but I don't really care. You can't tell me how to live my life. Okay, so like if I mine up that tin ore, for example, all it's going to do is mine up any tin ore that's attached to it. That's really good, actually. Okay, and there's chests and stuff all around. Oh, God, what's that? Hang on, what is that? Uh, Vintium ore, which is a part of the Magicka pack. Okay, there's la- Oh, there's some of the stuff I'm looking for, actually. Actually. All right, let's see if we can- uh, Oh, God, what's going- Okay, lag spike. Who? nothing major. Okay, no panic. Nobody panic. But let's go ahead and let's try and mine our way- what is that noise that con is continuously happening? Okay, there- Oh god, I did it again! I did it again! I did it again! Okay, let's go and let's get up. I am not used to the fact- I am not used to- Oh god, okay. 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 Let's go and let's get rid of that. Okay. Okay, I'm really- I'm really not used to this yet. Okay, let's uh, let's use some of our wood here. I'm really not used to the, that fact yet. That is so just vitally just different for me. Okay, let's go and let's mine that up. Okay, so this whole shift mining thing, I'm not really getting used to that well. I'm so used to just doing it. Because that, that's what I normally do. Okay. Oh god, and there's boss spiders down there. Okay. Okay, bro, this may not be worth it right at this present moment. The fact that I even have a shot at getting out alive is nice. Okay, let's use the tin ore and maybe create a viable step for myself here. Okay, and then do some of that. I really do want those force shards, but at the same time, I don't know if maybe potentially dying is worth it yet. Okay, let's go ahead and let's, uh, so oh, there well, there's one right here. Okay, oh, uh, yes, I got one. Okay, I got some. I got some. Oh my god, this is so, it seems like it's actually a little bit abundant down here, so that's really good. Uh, I see you, but... Please don't attack me. Let's actually go and let's try and block this area off with a little bit of sand. Okay, bam. I, I really, I don't want to get into your bad graces, Enderman. I like you. We're friends, okay? You and I, we're best buds. This is okay. You and I, we, we don't have any problems, okay? So, alright. Okay, so it's called Power Ore. It's, and, it, and it gives you four shards. Okay, so I don't really want to shift mine this. Okay, oh my god. Well, thankfully that thing can't do any kind of like weird warping attack because uh, you can get that effect uh, with the Infernal Mobs mods. Uh, the Infernal m Mobs. Like they can have the ability to like teleport and crap like that. Oh my god, but he probably still can climb the wall like, you know, normal spiders can. So I really wish I could just block them off. I think my best bet right now is to do a little bit of that and maybe try and block them off that way. You know, just do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Just try and prevent them, you know, from being able to fully get up here. It also seems like they're dying. I could be totally wrong with that. Okay, let's go and let's do that. Okay, uh, bam. Wow, those things shot everywhere. Okay, getting more of these force- Oh god. Oh god! Okay, no you don't, no you don't. You're not- you're not killing me today. You're- you're not gonna be the bane of my existence today. Okay, bam. Alright, I think we're- we've about pushed our luck, about as far as we can to- oh god. There's more of it over there, but I really don't want to- I really don't want to make that Enderman mad. If I can get this into my chest at the very least, that would be just be fantastic. That would be really nice. Having 24 of these four shards is really, really good. You know what I should do is just create like an emergency chest and like go down into my- you know, like... Put an emergency chest somewhere in here where I never suspect them. Oh god, and it's night time! I'm not too happy about this. I feel like a creeper is gonna spawn in my house again. I'm really, like, I'm actually legitimately scared about that now because I, I don't know if I've ever been into my house at night before. Okay, but I do know that I can go into this house. Be very careful in this house. Okay, let's be very careful. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try and traverse around here. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get up on top of this house here, actually. Okay, so bam. I know for a fact... Okay, let's see what's- let's see what's going on with this situation here. Okay, so is there a mob down there right now? Let's go and let's break this so that I can at least see more into my house. Okay. Okay, uh, we appear to be okay. Can I sleep in my bed? Yes! 
Okay, please don't spawn a creeper like a nightmare thing because that might be a part of this mod again. No, it's not. Yay! Yay, we have the forced gems. Okay, so can I put those together? No. Uh, those, okay, so forced gems. Uh, how do I create the forced ingots? I totally forgot. Um, two iron plus a forced gem will give you a forced ingot. And I have six iron ore on me. So I'm going to be able to actually do that. Um, and a forced gem can give you some really interesting stuff. I do need to get more iron, really, before I can really effectively take advantage of this. Because I would rather have iron armor and tools right now before going into, like, forced gem type stuff. But at the very least, I've gotten my, uh, I've gotten the initial item that I need for that. Power, you know, the power gems. Or, yeah, the, the forced gems, which are get obtained from power ores. Okay, so I got that down. That's good. Okay, we're, we're finally, we're making some progress. Man, that, that, that shift clicking thing is like, I'm just not used to it. I'm really not. And uh, the inventory tweaks mod is installed, so I think I used up my entire stone pickaxe on that one area, and then it immediately replaced it in my inventory or something. I think that's what happened. Okay, uh, look, 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 we haven't even left this area yet, but we are making progress and I'm happy with that. Looks like these are, these are drums. Okay, so these are a part of uh, Pam's Harvest Craft base. Okay, haven't seen you around here before. And Anna's just like, go away. I, I, I should, I should hurt some things right now. You know what I would like to do before I go ending off this episode? Okay, no creeper, no creeper, no creeper, no creeper. Okay, good. Uh, what I would like to do, even though... Uh, it would be such a it would be such a better idea. Okay, hang on. Let's actually let's okay So if I use two of the ingots and then a force gem uh, Or yeah force gem. Yeah, if I do that and do that. Oh, I get two force ingots. Okay, that's good So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna craft myself a pair of force shears And basically what this allows me to do is it allows me to shear chickens and cows So I'm gonna take my raging anger out on this cow. Urgh! Yeah yeah, can I shear a pig? Wow, I can shear a pig as well, and I get raw bacon. Thank you, Dartcraft, for making my day just that much better. Okay, like, look. And now they're cold cows, and they will eventually eat the grass just like the other mobs and get their stuff back. But now, that gives me some leather without having to kill the actual cows. So that's... That's all I hear right now. That, it, that That's actually what's going on. So anyways, guys, this episode has been running really long. We're at 40 minutes here at this point, but I wanted to make some progress, okay? So we have, we, even though we've hit some real panic situations, I, we haven't done anything that's necessarily going to end our quest, but I do feel like something I am going to do right, uh, I can't do it right now because I don't know if you can set beds during like the daytime and stuff, but what I was actually going to do is I was going to extend this ladder upwards and create my bed like way up in the sky with a torch and stuff so that if everything was destroyed, like I could still have like a chest up there with like some emergency tools or something. I don't know. Like I still have, still have a lot of thinking about and a lot of studying that I have to do. How did you guys feel like this episode went? Was it entertaining for you? Was there any suggestions, any feedback that you guys have for me? I know that this was a very, very long episode, but uh, th these are likely going to be pretty long, at least until I get my bearings going, and even then, they're likely going to be pretty long. Um, I may continue doing these every other day. I don't know. Uh, it really depends on your reception on this. Otherwise, it will be at least every third day. So, uh, But the next episode, you probably can you, you can probably expect will be coming out. Let's see. Is this coming out on Thursday? because uh, I'm recording it Thursday morning, then you can probably expect another episode on Saturday. Any feedback you guys have for me, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give, feel free to give it a rating. If you didn't, you know, still feel free to give it a rating. Give me your honest opinion on this, guys. Let me know how you think this series is going so far. Um, yeah, because this is, this is fun. <laughs> It is hardcore. It's giving me that feeling of not knowing what's going on anymore. Like, I'm guessing just the only reason those creepers spawned is because I'm guessing the 25 limit is no longer in place. And uh, I had bad lighting in the house. That's That was my guess. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. Just let me know, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching, guys.